Bomb Rock Runner. Ahoj, my jsme v Javi, to jsem týhle, boj se kumit. Tak je free room up here. Back up to you. Yo, how are we doing guys? Welcome to another Gloria Victus video. This is going to be on the tank build. I hope you enjoyed this video guys. I hope it helps. There'll be timestamps in the description below if you want to skip to a certain part of the video. But anyway, let's get on with it. I hope you enjoy this video guys. Let's do this. If you're going to be playing as a tank, there's only one way to do it. You want to go all heavy armor and you want to get the best heavy shield you possibly can. Uh, that's it, there's nothing more to it, you know, you're going as a tank, so you want to be as tanky as possible. As you can see here, with the build that I'm going to be showing you, I have a plus six champion, full, like, plus six champion set, all heavy, all plus six. My defense is 79.15%, including 10% bonus of armor set on piercing, 62.8%, including 10% bonus for armor set, and... 39.5 including 10% bonus from armor set so technically I'm getting 79% pierce defense 62 well just under 63% slashing defense and 39 and a half bludgeoning which will be your blunt weapons like your hammers and stuff like that so we've got some really good defense on everything except for obviously hammers but you don't see many people using them and they use a lot of stamina so even if someone does use them there's a good chance they'll run out of stamina before you. So anyway, let's get on to the attributes. So, onto the attributes. There's a lot of different ways you can do this. It all depends what you want to put your defense into because you get bonus defense from all three of these. Slashing defense with strength, bludgeoning with constitution, and piercing with dexterity. So me personally, I've gone for 220 strength, 220 constitution, 150 dex. You can change this up as much as you possibly want, but I'm going to explain to you why I've done this. The reason I have done it like this is so I can still hit them back. I can still do a little bit of damage, even though I'm using one hander, so it's not going to be a lot. And then the constitution obviously puts my health and my stamina up. Also the strength puts your stamina up. And then the dexterity. Um, I just put that up to 150 because it just put in... The put, the putting the 70 points in from dex into one of these it wouldn't really give me that much of a boost so i thought right i'll go with dex because it's going to give me a little bit more damage with my one-handed sword and it's going to give me pierce uh, damage reduction so it's going to give me more pierce defense and more stamina regeneration it just worked out like looking at it 150 dex would have been better than putting these up to 230 which is what i had them up before but i reset it and I put dexterity up to 150. My character, character is currently level 99, so I've still got one more level to go. It's only five points, so so I'll probably put like one into cons and then one into dex. But yeah, so it's good. 220, 220, 150. That's what I recommend. Obviously, you can change it up how you feel. Go for what you think's best, but that is my personal build. So anyway, let's get on to the abilities. This is the fun part. All right, so moving on to the abilities. There is two ways that I've seen you can do this. So basically, the easiest way to say it is you're just going to stick all on the left-hand side. Um, now, <clears throat> I've got five shield bash, level 10 in Vanguard, increased shield resistance while blocking with a shield, 2% per each level, and an additional 25% at level 10. So that's going to give you an extra 45% resistance on your shield. So if you have a quick look here, you can see my shield gives five. Basically, my shield has 531 HP until it breaks. But if I put my shield up, you can see I have 769. So you definitely want 
um, Vanguard. Then after that, we're gonna go up to Tough One, gives us a plus 10% health. You know, you're a tank, you need health. Then I moved over to the right and I got Shield Man, which decreases stamina drain while blocking by 2%, so 20% when you get up to level 10. Then I went for Protector, decreases loss of shield resistance while blocking arrows with shield 5% per level, additional 25% at level 10. So if you get this to level 10, if a sh like just for an example, say if a arrow takes away 100 of your shield durability, this is going to put it down to 25. It's 75%. Oh, like as a tank, you need this. You've got to have this as a tank. It's just, it's amazing. Um, then after that, we went for awareness. Damage received from being backstab goes down by 0.5% per level in this ability. So you get it up to level 10. You also get an additional 5%, which gives you 10% less damage when being hit in the back. Uh, then we have you shall not pass. Decrease shield resistant cost for 30 seconds after effectively blocking three blows with shield within three seconds. 3% three per level, additional 30% at level 10. So decreasing shield resistance cost for 30 seconds. That's going to reduce it by 60% when you get this up to level 10. Um, obviously there is a two minute cooldown, so it's only going to help you. I'd say if you're in a if you're in like a 1v2, 1v3, this is only going to help you once, but if you're in a big siege or something, this could help you multiple, multiple times. Um, after that, we moved up to Last Stand. I love this ability for my tank. Honestly, you've got to have this. Instantly regenerates part of your shield resistant after effectively blocking three attacks in a row with a weapon within 30 seconds if the shield resistant is fully depleted. 2% per level, additional 20% at level 10. So if I if my shield breaks, it runs out of HP, and then I parry the next three hits that are coming into me, and they're within 30 seconds, I then get 40% of my shield back. And the counter keeps going down, so then eventually I'll get my shield back again, even if that breaks. I was using this the other day, um, so if we look at my shield again, I have 769. So 40% of that is going to be around about about 300 hp that i'll just get so you know someone hits me now my shield breaks block him i'm gonna press the wrong button uh you know block with my sword block with my sword again block with my sword again you know i've still got 20 seconds until my shield was fixes itself but because i blocked them three hits and i got four, 300 hp on my shield to take another two three four hits then that breaks and then my count is finished by then so when i can pull my shield back up again that's why i love that ability um, after that, I went into Unstoppable, obviously, it makes it so if someone kicks your shield, you know, instead of um, just standing there like a wet potato, you can still move about, you can still try and dodge a couple of hits. Now, this is where I changed it up a little bit, because if you've noticed, I didn't sp spoke about Veteran or Breath Control. So before, I had it on Evade, which gives you a 5% armor penetration of the attacker is reduced, so it only reduces armor penetration by 5%, which is honestly not that much. Uh, but then you get Man of Steel. This is a really good one. It gives you a plus 15% defense on all three attacks on slashing, piercing, and bludgeoning. But the problem when I had this is I was running out of stamina too quick. Way too quick, all the time. So this is why I got rid of this and I went over and got Veteran, which increases my stamina by 20%. And Breath Control, which gives me stamina regeneration, is increased by 3% per level, meaning I get a plus 30%. Um, stamina regeneration which is a huge bonus so that is entirely up to you that you know you can test that as much as you like I'd say definitely give both a try see which one fits you best but me personally you need the stamina if you run out of stamina whether you're a tank or not if you run out of stamina you are dead it is as simple as that you need stamina in this game you need it to block you need it to swing you need it to sprint you need it to swim you've got to have it so that's why I went over to the right hand side because I figured I was running out of stamina too much. But now I've made this character, I'm only going to be using him for stuff like sieges and SOWs. So I might even use this reset and drag these back over to a Man of Steel because I'm not going to be running around on this character anymore. I'm not going to be fighting on him anymore. I'm only going to be taking him to SOWs where I'm going to be holding doors. That's all this character is going to be set for. So I'll probably end up doing that. But anyway, yeah, there is the passive abilities for. The tank build in my opinion obviously you can change it up how you like i always say that i definitely recommend that you know go for your play style but this is what i'm recommending for a tank 
All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed that video. I really hope it helps you. Don't forget to subscribe, like, um, drop a comment below if you think I could have done something better or you just want to say thanks or anything like that. Uh, make sure you sub for more Glory of Victus videos. I'm going to be making a guide on anything I can possibly think of because I want everyone to enjoy the game as much as what I do. So thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one. Peace out. Oh my god, 80 HP.